you would expect him to be. Now they beat Oklahoma by double digits, but they are not in sync the way they were early in the year. Not the most athletic great guard in the country. He just has a great pace to his game. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Ankle breaker. Yeah. Step back for Miles yes, and he knocks it down on the season. Take another look at this. There it is. Oh, yeah. And it was Butler. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because that's an all-American first team and his teammates. Look at that. Oh, is that going to be on Twitter tonight? No doubt. You Meyer down with a rebound. 6-9. He can really score. He can grab the rebound, bring it up the court. Nice dish. Terrific drive by Jared Butler. They made that trip look easy. Only going is one of the hardest playing young players in the country. Just yeah, he is one of energy. our favorites. Yeah, we'd yep. say it. It right on cue. LV played for Marvin Menzies there. Menzies had coached Pascal Siakam at New Mexico State, so he was locked in on uh, some of the, the goings on of the great players coming out of Cameroon. Pitching catalog, you know, yeah. he beats you with a lot yeah. of different uh, fakes. He's a finesse guy. Boy, another yeah. great baseline cut. But if you want to get Scott Drew talking, just ask him about the guy they call Everyday John. The kind of work Everyday ethic. John, EJ. Yeah. Here's a steal. To extend the TCU lead. That young man's played very, very well the last few games. A young man from Indianapolis, Indiana. Not only has done so far, but this program is not leaving the national scene anytime soon. Yeah, no, he's got him rolling right now. Got a great class coming in, and now they've got the lead after the bucket by Flo Thamba. Bears up two. It's a double screen. Pick your choice. <laughs> Baylor goes left and loses it. And it goes again. It and it goes in. About a 60-footer. The lead into halftime. Now that's one thing Frank Mason may have never done at Kansas, but take a look. That will count. And Dan, they have the lead. Wow. 60 feet. Oh my goodness. Fred, they oh. went seven minutes without making a field goal before that. What a moment for Mike Miles and the Horn Frogs. A great job of chasing them off the line and contesting. <laughs> Yeah, Butler had, or Baylor rather, had some foul trouble in the front court as well in the first half. Good start in the second half. Deonta Mitchell, who's headed to the line as well. Yeah, by design. You see, Miles went over the screen, and Mitchell was able to separate. And look, they don't really play through Samuel. They don't look for him that often. They do here. And they should. Pay it off. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, at my age, Fran, I love anybody's agility. <laughs> <laughs> and back come the Bears in transition. They got numbers. Good work. Vital yeah. from Butler. So Miles has, figuratively <laughs> speaking, broken the ankles of Jared Butler twice in the same game. Yeah. Oh, and wow. another what turnover. And this time they'll get the easy deuce for them hard. Very similar type of game to what we're seeing today. Yeah. And you could say this as that's going to count and a foul. The bucket for Mitchell. They're home to West Virginia. Then they go to Lubbock to take on the Red Raiders. You have a golden opportunity at home to knock off number four. Uh, although Miles slips and just tried to get rid of the ball. Turned it over and Butler is going to pay it off at the other end. Wants the anticipation right now by Butler. And this is what I love. Watch the finish. Always under control. I feel like about six of them have been in the paint frame. Absolutely. Nemhard for three. Got another one. And Here it's a three-point game. SBN, you can see UCLA and Arizona to cap off the evening at about 9 Eastern time. Deep one. Deep one for Butler. Yeah, we have it on pretty good authority that Chamo Chachua leads the Big 12 in things you don't see in the box score, right? He does all of that stuff. Exactly, and this guy does things you see in the box score. You want me to talk about it? Go get another Canadian. Uh, well, Brady, Hef Brady Hessel was pretty good. Brady Hessel. Oh, big fella. Shot faking into a two. He just used great footwork to slide on the three-point line and make it a three instead of a two. Even with the score, what it is. Look at the hustle by Mitchell to prevent a layup. 
And end this game. Baylor with a terrific second half. The energy so much better. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.